everyone. Uh, I did say I'll come back and do a box. Now, this is a very, very simple, simple box. Um, and all I've done is I've cut... Um, I didn't measure it, actually. I just cut one piece the size of the felt like. Uh, right, it's near enough. Uh, three inches across, and the length is four. So I've cut three, three by four inches, um, and then put them together. And all I've used for that is to use this tape. It's quite sturdy, doesn't need anything else. I'm going to be covering that. I've also, all I did, and it's so easy, girls, pop that onto a piece of chipboard. Use sturdy chipboard, ladies, because this flimsy stuff doesn't work. Everything falls apart. Pop that onto there now. I've got to get it the right way around. Like that. Okay. Um drawn round it but then left about half a centimetre all the way around so you've got a ledge you can put your pearls on or anything like that I've also made um, in fact I've got that the wrong way around because that's the lid and this is the base like that but it's left a little ledge all the way around I've then cut another triangle out and I've chopped the corners off as well just to tidy it up another triangle out which I'm going to stick in the middle and then when the oh sorry it'll be there and then when the lid goes on because I'll be covering them all but when the lid goes on um, it just sits in like that um, and protects that for you it stops it falling off but you could put a hinge on it and move it and, and just cut it to shape basically they are very very simple boxes to make and that could be keep anything in that <coughs> so what I'm going to do first is gather my resources that I need, the papers I'm going to be using, and I'll be back in a tick. Now what I'm going to use is some mulberry paper, but it's got the love hearts on. I do like this. Uh, and I've just popped that on there, not measured it at all, got the width that I want, leaving an inch either side, a rough inch. Snipped it, all you do, fold it back. Line that up to there. Fold that. And because I've left plenty, oh, I have left plenty on it, oh, just can't get the fold right. Huh. Like that, and then I'm just going to do it the easy way, because I can't be bothered. Snip that off. There you go. I've got that. And to that, we're going to glue that on. Uh, what I'm going to be using for that, I think, is um, not this one, I think. I think I've got this one open. No, wrong one. Missing the girls tonight. Chris is busy. I think she's got the doctors or something. And Glenda's having to, get, well, had to go on a trip. Right. So I'm just going to put the glue in. Find the paintbrush that I need. Oh, that was stiff. Look at that brush. Come on, brush. That's because I've not used that for a while. Right, so now I've got all these uh, ready. All we do then is take the glue. Now let me find something just to pop a bit of glue on because I can't be bothered messing about. And that's all we need to do just to make sure we have... Oops, get that out of the way. Glued all of this right. You're better off leaving it to go tacky a little bit anyway. And then just bend that in. Stretch in the the paper as you do it doesn't matter about stretching it because when it dries it sinks it it pulls itself back in basically yeah I've just shown the uh, the ribbon that I made uh, I watched Juliana this morning before I went to work six o'clock this morning I think it was when I was working I was in between doing die cuts and that and uh, absolutely brilliant she's a lovely craft a lovely girl and I thought oh yeah go on I'll have a go at that so they're not hard to do at all, you know. I think us crafters never bring anything too hard to people. Mm. 
and touch my eye on that. This will hold it down firmly anyway. It's just a different shaped box, you can keep anything you want in it. Like you say, just poke them down. Like that. So it goes in neatly, leaves your neat corner. And just get that to uh, hold a little bit. Just keep pressing it down so it's held. All I've got to do is just cut myself a little strip, which I'm going to do now. Um, put a panel in, I'm not bothered. Best thing to do is glue the panel. Firstly, and then I'm just going to centrise that panel. I don't normally waste, I would have measured things out. Well, actually, I don't measure, do I? <laughs> so, all I'm going to do, oops, just drop the lid, never mind. Just do that and stick that over. Again, doing the same for this side. Push that over. And there you are, I've got a complete cupboard. So now what we're going to be doing is the base. This is the base. Now, I've just cut the triangle out. And all you're doing is cutting it out a half an inch bigger uh, than the actual triangle. Snip your corners off. You don't need those. And obviously leave them on so you have enough to turn over. Now what I'm going to be doing is, I'm just going to be paint. I'll Put the glue on the. Oops, don't get that stuck on there. Move everything out of the way. I'm going to pop the glue onto the base. First. This box can be any size you want. As long as the three sides match <laughs> and you've got the paper big enough to go over it or enough of the paper to uh, go on it. So that's going to go on like that. So we swing that over now, turn it round, uh, and that's what we do there. And I'm just going to move that out of the way because the next thing we're going to do is some more glue on there and then we're just gonna do the edges the corners like that and these are really simple boxes girls you could make them trinket boxes for your daughters grandchildren whatever you want and um, nana you know they are simple and you can decorate them up however you want they're really, really simple to do. Okay. And what you're going to do is just... I'm going to use um, one of these pen... Uh, one of these... Um, tools. Just to help score the line. Like that. Make sure this one's done. Like that. And then all I'm going to do, take some glue, like that. do the edge of the bit of the uh, chipboard as well, so don't forget this is the base that I'm doing. Okay, and then all you're going to do is start in the middle and work outwards. 
and pull it. You like push it with your thumb inwards. Or away from the edge, should I say. Bend it out like that and start doing that. Doesn't matter of any glue you get on yourself, it's fun, girls. <coughs> Again, just start like that and start in the middle to work it. Right, I'm back, everyone. Um, I've got Chris with me. Hi, Chris. Hi, everyone. Yeah, she's um, just come online, so... And I'm just going to finish this off. We're doing exactly the same as I did before. I've actually cut that in a bit long. A bit wide. But never mind. Trim that off. Move all that out of the way. And then we're just going to cover this. What a shame you've just come on. You've just missed me making this box. Well, I was trying to, but it didn't say you were online. Oh, no. I tried to call you and Glinda, and I forgot Glinda's out of town. Yeah, she is. She's not supposed to do that. Nope. I just said I'm missing you guys when I first came on. Do what? I said when, when I first started the video I was missing you guys. Yes. Because I like my nightly chats while I'm yes, working. I know. While yes. I'm working. Yesterday I missed my chat. <laughs> I, get, I have withdrawals. Yeah, we do. We actually get withdrawal symptoms because we have such a laugh, don't we? So she's starting, I haven't even said no when she's off. Laugh, yeah, of course she has. You can't have a daily laugh. Withdraws, it's just like <laughs> <laughs> well, I think anyway. <laughs> it is though, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's like, I, I told my husband, I didn't get to talk to Glenda and Fiona tonight. And he's like, well, you talked to him earlier. Not for very long. <laughs> he started laughing. He's like, oh. Yeah, but the thing is, when you like you with your own sisters and you know your own family, you like to speak regular. Yeah, and we are. You know, mom and dad tell us we have to talk all the time. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> all, all the time. All the time. Oh, and Glenda's gone. How dare she? She's gone on the raz, I think. She's going to some do, isn't it? She. Isn't she? Yeah, the graduation that her husband used to teach yeah used to teach yeah yeah so that was that's quite nice though yeah it makes a change she says yeah, she's going to keep in touch with the that. phone Jamie she's going to keep in touch by phone she said right so now I've covered the top and I'm just going to do the insert the middle uh, the inside bit and for that I'm all going to have to cut a piece of this paper out I didn't want to cut this other piece could have got another box out. Such a skin flint, aren't I? <laughs> you just don't like to waste anything, my love. No, I know. Give me more. Hey. Give me more product. Yep. But I'm also going to decorate this, folks, so... Oh, I can't wait. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I don't know what I'm going to do. Red? Yeah. It's like a red love hearts on it. Sorry, sweetheart, but I want to get it done. This glue's drying. Right, what we're doing now is I'm just popping this onto the lid. Like so. Pressing that down. I know this will have to dry, so I might have to put it under something to, right to do that. But let me just make sure that fits on. That's a nice fit. I like that. See, that's a nice fit. Hopefully, I will, that's it. So I just have to press that down and leave that to dry. So I'm going to pop that under the computer just for now. And I think we'll start. Just have to put some weight on it to dry it, that's all. Uh, and there you go, that's the box. So what I'm going to do now is... I um, don't know if I've got enough of this bead. Have I got enough? <coughs> yeah, I have actually. Yeah. 
So I'm just going to cut that. Um, the back panel's here, so I'm going to start putting the beads on there as well. Oops, more glue. Wrong glue stick, I think. Just do that and then start off the beads like that. Okay. Just we'll take take the beads around the corner. Ready. What matter? Ready, pretty, pretty. Yes. I like it. I need a black one. <laughs> well, come on, you should be doing one and make one. Well, you know me, I have to have my private tutorials. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, since. Since I've done the uh, uh, bird cage for Glenda, I might make you one of. Uh, no, but I'll make you yours when I'm there. Yes. Then you can see how I'm doing it. I know three weeks, girls, and I'm going to be in there in the USA. Right there we go. So I've got the pearls there. That's the back. I'm going to take that heart off. It's don't like them sticking up like that. Now, now that I've got that. And we move on to decorating it. I will be putting felt in the inside, so I'm not fussed about that whatsoever. And for that, now, I want to do um, something on the front. I'm going to put some, I'm just going to put that on hold a minute. So what I'm doing now is I'm just using the red uh, Firefly, which is the Cosmic Shimmers. And as you can see, it's with gold as well. There's gold in this and it, the gold stands out straight away. Look, see that? Beautiful. It is, it's absolutely stunning. Beautiful, it's beautiful. I love it, I love it. So these shimmers are actually really good because you don't need to put your gold and silver over them. They already have them kind of mica powders in them. Yep. What did I do with my brad? I've no idea, my dear. Come on, tell me where I put them. I don't know. Be the mind reader that you are. Oh, I wish. <laughs> Come on, woman, I'm trying to help you. I, well, you're helping me when you're finding your own stuff. How do I know? She thinks I can read minds. I, I, I think you can. I wish I could. Like I say, I'm just doing this and I'll leave that to dry and I'll dry it off with a heat gun later while I uh, put the trim. And I found some trim that I want. I'm not having lace. But, I mean, look at that flower now. Isn't that stunning? And I'm just going to do the underneath as well so it's all matching. Whoops. Well, if you had it labelled in your drawers, you'd know where it is, lady. Hey, woman. Yes, sister. Which Sister. No, you've got. To, you've done your. She's done a room out. She's got a massive room, and she can't find anything. Hey. Yes, dear. Secret. Nah, not secret. You, nana. Oh, <laughs> it's our new word, you nana. Oh, don't worry, by the time I come back, you'll have learnt a few, uh, you've probably learnt another language. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Look isn't that, st look at that, isn't that stunning? It's already got the gold, it's red lava, but it's got gold on it, and it stands out. I love that. That is beautiful. Yeah. So I'm just going to let that dry for a minute while I continue doing the trim. <clears throat> and that's the red firefly. 
Right, so all I'm going to do, I've put the pearls on the bottom, I'm going to start at the back and um, now add the trim. And I love this trim. Really pretty. Like that. <laughs> I know, I'm absolutely crapping myself. <laughs> I am! Okay. Right, so what I've done now is um, I've now put the trim on the top and the bottom. Look at that trim. What do you think? I love it. Isn't that gorgeous? That's gorgeous, yes. And um, I've just got to dry this flower, which is what I'm uh, waiting for at the moment. got glue all over me. Oh, I know. Seeing the gold on that. Right, so I'm just gonna see I'm gonna snip that off. Oops, shot over there. I've also got this little red butterfly to put on. Um so what I'm gonna do, I think I'll put the Yes, I'm going to do that. Um, hang on a minute, because I just want... Right, what I've got is just a strip of ribbon. Um, it was just going spare, didn't want to waste it, so I'm just going to make a couple of loops. Like that. Just like a bow. And then I'm going to pin that on here. Like that. You're online. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, forgot. <laughs> Just sort of remind you, Chris. Thank you, hon. <laughs> <laughs> and then just to do that. And while that's drying, I'm also going to be finding um, a leaf for two. So I'll be back in a minute. Right, what I've got is these are leaves that I've pulled off something and they're not very good. So I'm just going to shape them like that. Just round them off there, that's so. all. Um, see, they're still too big, so what I'm going to do, fold them in half and just trim them again. Like that. Right, and then to that, just let me pop that leaf in there, just there. I am going to sit one behind a bit of ribbon, like that. Right, I did try and put another flower on there. I'm not keen on that at all. I like the bling on the top. I might put a, I might put a handle on it, actually. Oh, there you go. I could put a handle on it, couldn't I? See? Oh, yeah, look. Be able to open it, yes! So, what I'm going to do is... <laughs> I wasn't, but I am. Is I'm going to pop a little... Um, I'm just going to colour, where have I put it, silly old, just going to colour the door handle. I love it because the gold stands out so much. Yeah, it's adorable, I mean it's gorgeous. Yeah. I almost said adorable, that's not good. 
correct? No, it's not, dear. <laughs> right, so. See if I've got a plate for it to stand on, I think. In the metal bits. No, not on that. I'll put a coin out. I don't know where to take that off. Will it come off, do you think? No, I don't want to. Leave it on. Just going to screw that on as... Not screw it on, but... Uh, fill it up with glue. Like that. And just whack that in the middle, like that. Whack it. Whack it, that's what we say. Whack it, girl, whack it. And then I can just wipe the edge around there, or stick it. I've just wiped it off anyway, it doesn't matter. So there you go, that's my little trinket box made. There, does that look better? I like it, that's With the, <laughs> look, with the knob on. <laughs> Well, we'll see. Shall we test it? Yes, test it. Yay! <laughs> All I'm going to do with the inside is to put some red felt. Um, and really, I could have done that one night before I put this together, but um, I was just basically showing you how to make this triangular, triangular box. So there you go. Cute little thing, isn't it? Stay for the still pictures and I'll speak to you soon. Say bye.